ladies and gentlemen, from the Bird's Papaya brand, an incredible entrepreneur, over 2 million followers on Instagram, a very popular podcast, one of the most popular people on social media. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Nicole Landry is co-hosting today. Thank Welcome. you. The Great street cred you just gave me, incredible. Thank you, thank you. No, it's very fun to be here. I've never done anything like this. I sat at one of those, you know when you go to the Hockey Hall of Fame and they have like this fake little news desk? I did that before. I did that when I was that way. Was, that's that, my resume. That was my first break in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> I sat there. And I'm like, the so Islanders win the it. Stanley Cup. Nice. I'm, I'm We're a nerd. Doing I'm it. nine. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm a 46 year old yeah. nerd. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm excited. This feels this feels very meta for me. Like this is what I have coffee sitting with my parents in the morning watching the show. So it's very cool to be here, little, psyching me out a little that I know they're watching. But other than that, we're good. Hello. Go ahead. Yeah. Hi, mom and dad. There you go. And you know what? I never do it. Hi, mom and dad. Hi. Love yeah. you too. Love you guys. I should do it once in a while. Yeah. By the way, I can't get your kids Taylor Swift tickets. I have no I... idea how. I have no power in this company. Thank you for saying that. This is that the out conversation loud. we're now having yeah. with everyone in and out of the building after yeah. Rogers announced. They are basically sponsoring six Taylor Swift shows yeah. uh, next November 2024. Have you seen her live before? I haven't, but this is a lottery system, right? So the biggest thing and why my daughter was like, okay, you're going. Can you just ask them to register so they have a chance to buy the tickets? Because you're entering into a lottery system, essentially. You register and then you get notified if you're going to be able to buy a ticket the next day. Then you have to be ready for that. I've never gone into an arena like this before, and I'm not even talking about the stadium she's performing in. I I mean, I've never gone into buying tickets like this before. I'm terrified of failing. Yeah. So it's like a sneaker drop, it feels like. And I failed at that <laughs> before, too. <laughs> it's I've never, like, uh, it's been a while since I kind of have, have bought a ticket like yes. this. But, like, it feels like everyone's just throwing elbows. It's, it's a whole a different world online yeah. to try and get these ducats. So we'll talk a lot more about mm -hmm. this as we go along. But I want to talk about you because I know a lot of people watching this know you very well they feel like your family <laughs> oh they know me very well because you are you are not shy to talk about basically everything about your life online Almost. and it's 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 whether it's body positivity whether it's just manifesting great things in your life it's being a mom it's family what when did you start to get very very listen and i, I share a bunch of stuff online too yeah. But not to this extent, to the <laughs> point where people have just have gravitated to you in these numbers. When did you feel comfortable doing this online? Well, I've actually been a blogger for about 15 years, but I did it in a way that was just, I don't know, trying to fit in what everybody else was doing. I talk about my kids, my house. And when Instagram came about, it all of a sudden became about like us, what we were wearing, what we looked like. And I remember being so self-conscious and somebody tagged me in a photo and I felt like, oh, I, I was so embarrassed. And I went on this weight loss journey in real time online and only to find that losing weight didn't make me more confident, didn't make me feel good about myself. And and that was a devastating reality when you feel like you did the before and after and the after didn't serve you the way that I thought. I, I found myself doing less. I was terrified to leave the house. I was terrified that I didn't look like the perfect version online. And so I kind of started to heal out loud. And there is a huge body positivity movement, of course, but I actually more so find myself just in body confidence or self-love or any, even body neutrality. You see me today, I'm wearing like an oversized shirt. So it's like, why are you somebody who talks about body confidence because today I really recognize that for me it was important to show up be mindfully present and I didn't want to think about my body today so the way that I showed up com confidently today was actually wearing something that made me not think about my body and made me just show up and do that so I feel like the more and more we go into sharing online and having these stories I mean I've gone through a divorce online there's a lot that we can share and talk about and I think for me it's just been journaling whatever's going on right now People, I've, I find more and more people want honesty. Yeah. In wherever they go. Yeah. And that has been who you've been online. Yeah. Basically, as long as you've been online. And <laughs> well, not for, always. Well, not. I mean, but it, eventually, <laughs> yeah, you got eventually there. Eventually, you get and there. And it's hard yeah. to get there for uh, for a lot of people because the trolls are real. They and, are. And they don't go away. They don't go away, and they're always looking for like that that gotcha, right? And there's been times where I think what's been important for me is I've left up all the old posts. I've left up the things that I said that were problematic. I left up the thing, the photos that I edited myself in because I wanted people to see in real time that you can change, that you can actually like come away from a lot of these thoughts. 
thoughts and uh, you know mannerisms that maybe social media introduced to you. I mean, we started we started with filters when Snapchat came about, right? So I and I and I don't judge anybody. It's a hard world to live in. We are struggling a lot to figure out how to show up online, and and I think sometimes it's just the journey to get there. And I'm still on it, and I'm still failing forward a million times over and over again. And that's the process of being a human too. Sarah Nicole Landry, the pride of Guelph, Ontario, is in all day. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Great to see you. Great to Thank see you. you. 701, you're watching BT.